Now let us look at the electron transport occurring in complex number 3. Remember the name of complex number 3 is uh, coenzyme UQ to cytochrome C reductase. So therefore, there is transfer of electron from UQH2 to cytochrome C. So this oxidation reduction happens in this particular complex. It is one of the complexes that has been studied elaborately. Because uh, if the kind of electron transport occurring in this particular uh, complex, um, it is known as Q cycle. Q cycle. Now remember that this whole pathway has been uh, highly contributed by a scientist known as John Dyson Hofer. So John Dyson Hofer, John. Dyson Hofer, uh, he was awarded, uh, he awarded Nobel Prize for a similar study in the uh, photochemical reaction center. So therefore, we are going to look at the, the Q cycle, which is a complex mechanism. Before that, let us quickly look at the structure of this particular complex. Now, this particular complex, it is a large protein, it is a dimeric protein. Uh, it has uh, uh, about a molecular weight of uh, 250 kilo Dalton. Uh, this is made up of about 11 polypeptide chains um, and roughly about 2165 amino acid in the structure. So you can understand it is a complex structure. And the shape of the protein is a pear shaped structure. So therefore, in the inner mitochondrial membrane, about uh, 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 75 Armstrong structure is in the mitochondria inner membrane space region. Another 38 uh, uh, small, 38 small. Another 38 uh, my, uh, Armstrong is in the matrix side. So therefore, it becomes an inner a transmembrane protein. Complex number three is a transmembrane protein. It has several heme several heme in its structure so basically so what we have seen in complex number one and complex number two is basically focus on hydrogen transport now we are going to focus on electron transport in this region in complex number three and in complex number four so it has several cytochromes remember cytochromes different types based on the re, uh, the structural modification in the protein as well as in the heme structure so, um, we will be looking at some of the hemes as we proceed. Let us see how exactly the transport of electrons takes place. When we begin, we understand that right now we have pooled all the hydrogens in the form of UQ molecules. And the membrane has a pool of UQ and UQH2 pool. Remember that there is a typical concentration of UQ, UQH2 pool. So this is the pool. We will be relying on this. So what happens in the structure is um, in the protein, assume this is the protein. Okay, this is a cytochrome um, uh, um, oxidoreductase, uh, UQ uh, cytochrome C oxidoreductase. This is the inner membrane space and this is the matrix side. Now, in the, in the space which is close to the inner membrane space, so there is a site. And that site, you know that this is positively charged. So this we shall call it in the QP site, positively charged. Similarly, there is another site near the matrix which is known as the QP, uh, QN site. Q N side, side close to the negative charge. What is going to happen? How exactly electron transport occurs is initially an U Q H two is transferred to the Q P side. So U Q H two comes in. Now the U Q H two will split, and one hydrogen splits. So therefore, it becomes U Q uh, a semi quinone form. Okay, only one hydrogen is removed, a semi quinone form. What happens to this hydrogen which is split? If the H plus is pumped across the membrane, one electron is there. That electron, so this becomes like this, that electron 
which is released from this UQH2, this electron is transferred to an ion sulfur protein. That ion sulfur protein transfers the electron to a cytochrome. Okay, so it is transferred to a cytochrome which is cytochrome C1. And that cytochrome C1 transfers the electron to another component which is another cytochrome. Now remember this cytochrome is, look at the location of the cytochrome. It is on the outer side of the inner mitochondrial membrane. Remember, this is going to be a mobile electron carrier. So therefore, this cytochrome is going to transfer the electron. Uh, C1 is going to transfer the electron to cytochrome C, which is not part of complex number 3. So therefore, one electron is transferred there. Let us see what happens to the next hydrogen of the UQH2. So, if the next hydrogen also gets ionized and it is transported across the membrane to H+. What happens to the electron? So that electron is the second electron. Now it becomes UQ. Okay, the second electron is transferred. Now that second electron is transferred to another cytochrome. That cytochrome is known as BL. Cytochrome BL. BL means low affinity. Okay, so uh, for absorption spectra. BL will transfer the electrons to BH, high affinity. So high affinity has got an absorption spectra of 562 nanometer and the low affinity has an absorption spectra of 566 nanometer. So now it will transfer to BH molecule. What happens to this electron which is there in the BH? Now in the QN side we need to pay attention here. The QN site also has another UQ molecule. It has a UQ molecule in the oxidized form. Now this UQ is accepting the electron and it becomes in the semi-quinone form by accepting the electron. Okay, this is what happens. Now this is the first part of the Q cycle. Let us look at what happens in the second part of the Q cycle. Now remember the second part of the Q cycle will begin and will have this UQ uh, in the semi-quinone form in the second portion. Based on this figure itself, let us explain in the second part of the Q cycle. What is going to happen is again the same story. One UQH2 comes here. If the first hydrogen is, I'm drawing with a red pen, is transferred to electron. It is transferred to an ion sulfur protein, transferred to cytochrome C1 and transferred to cytochrome C. Now cytochrome C receives how many electrons at the moment? Only two electrons from this. Now if the second hydrogen gets and one proton is pumped across the membrane, this becomes three now. Okay. Now what happens in the second hydrogen? Second hydrogen also split. That electron is transferred and so it becomes in the semiquinone form. The second hydrogen is transferred, it becomes UQ and that UQ is passed on to the UQ, UQH to pull. If the second electrons now, let us use a different pen. So the second electron is passing to, to BL, to BH and the BH will transfer here. Now remember, in the QN pool, we have the semi-quinone form already existing, the semi-quinone form. So this semi-quinone form is accepting the second electron. So therefore, it becomes two with the two electrons will accept an H plus two H plus from the matrix side. It will accept two H plus from the matrix side and it becomes UQH2 in the reduced form. We have taken two UQH2 and one of these is sent back into the UQH2 pool. We have taken two UQH2, we are sending one back into the UQH2 pool and in the process we have an unbalanced electron transport. So the second one we are not shown here. So this becomes 4H plus is transported across the membrane. So this is an unbalanced electron transport system. This is what is known as the Q cycle.